How we look at the future defines how we live today. To cherish our way of life means to live and build sustainably for generations to come. As traveling is a key part of our life, it is regarded as highly valuable. But how to make traveling sustainable? As a service provider in engineering, we start on the ground, and like many travelers, we begin our journey at the airport. What is our destination? The world's most sustainable airport terminal. Well, I guess the, the, the biggest challenge, obviously, if uh, people come to you and they ask for, let's say, a green terminal, the question is, how can we do this properly? And I guess it's like the tallest building. Uh, it's only the tallest building for a very short while. And after that, there's another guy with a taller building, just like you have the next guy with a bigger boat. We were very concerned to come up with something that, although maybe inspiring, it would only be inspiring for a very short while. So we, we really started to think, how could we extend the period of relevance for what we're doing. Yeah, also, the most people associate with a nachhaltig Gebäude a sehr energiesparsames Gebäude. But wie das Wort schon sagt, Nachhaltigkeit. Also, es geht nicht um Lösungen, es geht nicht um Prinzipien, sondern es geht um die Haltungsfrage. Also, die Haltung, die wir eigentlich innehmen gegenüber allem, was unser eigenes Sein auf dieser Erde möglich macht. Und diese Dinge, die müssen wir eigentlich kustern. In dem Fall heißt es für Gebäude, der Prozess ist entscheidend, wir müssen ganz anders die Prozesse organisieren, wir müssen anders bauen. Das Gebäude muss so sein, dass ich den ständigen Veränderungen eigentlich anpassen kann. Und als letztes, dass das Gebäude eigentlich so konzipiert ist, dass wir es wieder vollständig entmanteln können, ohne dass dabei irgendwelche Grundstoffe verloren gehen, die ursprünglich nötig waren, um das Gebäude zu schaffen. We did a tour on, uh, on Schiphol the main airport in the Netherlands. We found out that actually everything what you do there revolves uh, around the central theme of, of time. And, and then it also links to sustainability, which is something that you do for the, for the future. So then we said we should try to avoid choices and really start to think how can we keep our options open. If you think about the future and you want to keep your options open, you have to stay flexible. And the best way to stay flexible and to minimize the impact of changes, you have to be modular. Then if you are modular, you can replace modules with something new and whatever comes around, you can try and see if you want to apply it. In space, they've been doing it for years. The ISS space station is made up completely of modules. So why not bring this technology down to Earth? The key to modular thinking is to have a solid backbone of power and data to which all modules can be connected. This connection to a constant flow of power and data will make sure all modules are interlinked so one can respond to the other when necessary. If a single module is at some point in time not efficient anymore, we can simply replace it with one that is. To be modular gives us flexibility. Flexibility in the way we build, but also flexibility in the way an airport terminal is designed. Wenn wir uns die heutigen Flughäfen angucken, dann würde ich sagen, also nicht der Passagier ist König, sondern das Flugzeug ist König. Sozusagen das Flugzeug kommt, der rote Teppich wird ausgerollt und alle drehen sich nur um dieses Flugzeug rum. Und ich denke, der, der neue Flughafen, da muss der Mensch zentral stehen und nicht mehr das Flugzeug. The person today is power, that is what he needs. And, and it's also data, it's his mobile phone, it's, it's his, his digital identity. And uh, digital identities today, they voice their opinions uh, through Twitter. And, and you can find what they do on Facebook. And I think if a terminal is conceptually dynamic, then based on those opinions, the passengers could influence the way that the terminal evolves. Also, es käme noch niemand auf die Idee, ein Flugzeug zu kaufen, wenn er von Amsterdam nach New York fliegen will. Also wird keiner 230 Millionen bezahlen, sondern er sagt, Mensch, gib mir einen Stuhl und gib mir sozusagen die Performance, mich zu transportieren von, von A nach B. Und so müssen wir eigentlich auch ein Terminal bauen. Die ganze Eigentumsfrage müssen wir in der Zukunft verändern. Wir müssen nicht mehr auf Eigentumsbasis konsumieren, sondern auf Performancebasis. Weil nur dann, also nur bei dem Gedanken, sind die Grundstoffe in der, für die Zukunft gesichert. Weil dann jedes Produkt eine Grundstoffbank ist, wo die Grundstoffe gesichert sind. An airport terminal is a complicated structure. In many ways it's like a living creature. It has to be able to adapt to changes. 
quickly and safely. If we design a terminal that is both sustainable and ready for change, what would such a thing cost? If a terminal is conceptually dynamic, then by definition it is never more than it should be. Therefore, it's never more expensive than it should be. So what happens today is you have a terminal, you make a planning, you build it for 40 years. After 20 years, it doesn't make sense. By definition, it will be too expensive for the situation then. The next step, uh, the way I see it, is to really start thinking scenarios and not think decisions. My strong belief is that to do this properly, I would really like to see a project first to collect data from the current terminal, really understand what's going on. From there, go to scenarios, play with the data, and then take a temporal decision for a first configuration. That's how I see that. For Imtech, it's, uh, it's actually very logical to, to think this way because the way we have structured our company, we have an engineering division, we have an electrical division, and in between we have the ICT division. And if you look at the way that we position the green terminal, of course it's construction, it's a lot of electrical systems, but the modeling is ICT. So I think it, it absolutely fits with Imtech, and we have all the competences to be able to, to deliver this vision. Not a problem at all. In the vision of Imtech and Rao Architects, the airport of the future is like a modular space station, completely flexible and always the most sustainable. An airport as a service. You pay for what you use. No more, no less. The passenger and time are the central focus points. A perpetually green airport terminal will make it happen. Imtech, technology that improves society.